YouTube fam, how y'all doing? TM Nation, how y'all doing? It's your boy Tecmo here again, back with another review and unboxing. And today I have something a little bit different, something that I haven't reviewed and unboxed on the channel before, a car vacuum cleaner. Now I bought this for myself to try and keep my car a little bit cleaner. For those of you that don't know, I have a four-year-old daughter and taking her to school and picking her up. I have all kinds of crumbs in my car all the time, Pop-Tart wrappers and all kinds of stuff. So I got this to try and keep my car clean. And I bought it a couple weeks ago. It was actually a lightning deal. I got it a little bit cheaper than what you can get it for now. I paid 21 bucks for it. So what I'm gonna do in this video for you guys is we'll go over the specs. I'll unbox it for you, and then we'll try it out and see how it works. So stay tuned. Okay, so just going over the specs briefly, this is the Hikerin Car Vacuum Cleaner. And right now it is on sale for $28.58. The retail price is $45.99. Now this vacuum gets its power from your car's cigarette lighter. So if you have a car that has to be on in order for your cigarette lighter to work, you have to take that into consideration because this will only work if your car cigarette lighter has power. And it does have an LED light that you can turn on and off and that is very helpful when you are vacuuming inside your car. And it's a multi-function vacuum. It supports both wet and dry use. And you have three different accessories that come inside the box with this. You have the long mouth, you have the brush, and you have the soft long tube. And each accessory makes it easier for you to get into tight spaces or to do a deeper clean. It says that it has great suction. I hope that's true because that's what I'm looking for. And a 75 dB low noise stainless steel HEPA filter. And that's supposed to effectively clean dust inside of your car. And it says easy to operate. You have 197 inches worth of cord. So that should be plenty to get in and out of your vehicle in the back seat, front seat. That should give you plenty of room in order for you to clean your whole vehicle. And last but not least, it says great customer service. If you have any questions or any issues, give them a call. And if you are not satisfied, they will refund or replace your vacuum. And this is just a quick look at what we should have in the box. The dust cup, the stainless HEPA filter, the vacuum base with the plug attached. You get a carrying bag, a soft long tube, a brush mouth, and a long mouth. All right, so now that we've gone over the specs, let's go ahead and unbox it so we can try it out. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so the packaging is nice. Everything comes packaged nicely. You have all of your accessories on top, including the soft long tube and the brush tool. Now everything else is towards the bottom of the box, including the vacuum itself. And it seems to be constructed very nicely. It is made out of plastic, but it doesn't feel like if you drop it a couple times, it's gonna completely break and be inoperable. And looking at the cord, it does seem like it's long enough to get the job done. And you have your user guide and your carrying case as well. You can zip up the carrying case, which is a nice feature. Okay guys, so I'll let the footage of me vacuuming my car out play while I give you my overall opinion on the vacuum. It's definitely not the strongest vacuum I've ever used in my life. It definitely could use a little bit more suction power, but all in all, it did get the job done eventually. I did have to go over some spots three and four times, so that can be a nuisance if you don't have patience. But again, this is 20 something dollars. When I bought it, it was $21. Currently it's 28 bucks. I bought a Black & Decker one a few years back that was 50 something dollars when I bought it. And it had comparable suction power to this one. So all in all, I do think it's a good value. If you can catch it on a lightning deal for 20 bucks, that'll be great. But if you have to spend the $28, I still think that it's a good deal, but do not order it if you're looking for something with superior suction and that's just gonna suck up everything on the first try. 
because that is not going to happen with this. You have to use a little bit of patience and a little bit of elbow grease to get these things out of your carpet. But for me personally, I think I'm going to look for one that has a little bit more power and possibly one that's rechargeable because I don't want to have the cord attached. But until next time, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, let your boy know. Until next time, I'm out. I hope y'all have a great day. Peace.